Hi and welcome to this week's video. So this giant bike arrived at us for effectively a pre-race service and it shows how important it is really with this bike to get them checked before a race. So we measured the chain, that's all okay, that's good. So we're gonna take that off and degrease it. And we're gonna take the cassette off. The bike arrived to us without the front wheel on. He'd had trouble inflating the front wheel. He changed the valve and we'll go into depth on that in a moment. We now take off the cassette and that goes into the degreaser. We sort of do these parts on a standard service if they've got quick links and it's needed because it's, it's something you can put those in the degreaser and work on the rest of the bike while they're running through and it just it's sort of part of the service but we like I say we sort of pre-empt that. Now I wash the wheels down and it's important to wash your bike down when you service it because like this I'm washing the braking surfaces I'm just checking those at the same time feeling the spokes while you're washing those it's just a good way of getting a feel for the bike that you're working on by washing it down initially you know the hubs you, you're feeling the bearings as you're turning those you're just checking that braking surface you're taking road film off of that especially on carbon wheels where you can't see it because they're the same color as the road so the back wheel was flat now to me it could have been that this bike had stood in a garage or it could be that that's going down between rides which is usually a sign that the sealer needs topping up the customer had brought the sealer in his own sealer in so we put 60 mils in the back wheel here just to top that up and after I'd serviced it I actually left the bike over a weekend before I told the customer it was ready to check the tyres and that one was up as solid as, as the day I pumped it up so uh, that held pressure well so we're now just inflating that I always go just slightly over pressure then rotating like this it means that any holes or air escaping is, is picked up now this was the front tyre as it came in and you can see there's pulls so I, I don't know whether this bike is hung up or whether it sat with this because he had trouble inflating his tire, it sat with a flat tire but there was pulls of that sealant in there I tried initially washing it off it wouldn't wash off I tried scraping it off it wasn't going to scrape off so in the end we had to use a more um, uh, uh, solvent cleaner on it which you'll see in a moment so we, we, we scraped off the big bits you can see them all picking up on the bench there and then we used this solvent cleaner just to really clean that up I felt it important to clean this off because if you've got a puncture in one of those parts that's already a clogged amount I didn't know whether the sealer would then work its way through the old to seal the puncture so I decided it was best to clean this this wheel and tire you can see there left is cleaned right is to be done we went round, I went round the tire once and then went the other side and that's it completed there this tire took us literally hours to sort out we had an awful job cleaning that then we had a real problem reinflating this tire we went through every trick in the book before we managed to get this tire to inflate it would not grip the bead of the rim but this was the final attempt to get it up so we were just drawing in the air and eventually we put some soapy water in I still couldn't inflate it with air cannons compressors everything but we then turned the tire 45 degrees on the rim and woof it went up as it should so it was a very very strange one but our final trick worked and we inflated this one up so again this wheel we tend to only show one thing on a video this wheel has already been cleaned and then we just work that sealer in so if you're enjoying this video please click the like button also subscribe to our channel it all helps our algorithms with youtube we're trying to expand this channel so please please subscribe you'll see our future videos then and if you get the notification bell clicked as well you'll get notified when they come up we usually post every wednesday now we're just washing off the parts that have come out of the degreaser, which is the cassette and chain on this bike, because you've got to remember this isn't a detail, it is a pre-race service. So we now know the wheels are safe, we know the tyres are up, everything's right there. We clean off this chain and cassette, so we know that everything is correct and right there. We're just drying all these bits off. Yeah, we've got a new website coming in, hopefully within the next week, so look out for that we'll mention it in our next video when that goes live we're now just putting parts back on so we're just re-greasing the hub body there get the cassette back on and then the detail or the, the specifics of a race bike begin so we always torque the cassette you don't want that coming loose we check the headset bearing for play and movement correct that that's moving this is something that would drive me up the wall if I was racing this bike it's a simple thing that cap with the giant logo in three places was offset so I lined that up. If I was riding that bike for 56 miles looking at that cap, it would, it would ruin my race. I wouldn't be able to stop looking at it. 
I wouldn't be looking at the road, I'd be looking at the cap thing, I should have lined that up. So we do that in our service. Now we're talking all the stem bolts up. They were all loose on this bike. It was it was a real lesson, this bike, as I said, in pre-race servicing. Look at this seat post. It's very common for these to either be way over tightened or loose. If they're loose like this, you go over a rattly bumpy road, suddenly that seat post is gonna drop and it should race over. So we get that torqued. Saddle, you can see, moved as well. The levers were loose, all torqued up correctly afterwards. You can see this like just the tiniest of movement, but it was. Now this the chain set here, the, the chain rings look were very, very loose. They would have in time, be it this race, next race, or training, would have come loose. They were all torqued up correctly. The pedal arm was okay, actually, that was all torqued correctly. You check the pedals. So they're all parts that you're putting all your power through. And you know, if it goes wrong on race day, it's it is important to torque everything. I changed this tie wrap simply from green to black because I'm just like that. Again, if I looked at my feet in the race and saw that green one flicking around, it would, oh, no, it would have broke my heart. It had to be black. So we swapped that over. Wash the bike down. Again, we're just checking the components, making sure they're all right. When you're sort of that up close and personal term, you can spot things that maybe you wouldn't if you were just glossing over the bike and checking it. So we give that a nice little clean up there. The, you know, they didn't need degreasing because it was only a service, but they're all now much better than they were. A little bit of copper slip on there. Again, if race day, you do have to take that wheel off for any reason. It's going to be an awful lot easier. And on goes that wheel now. A little bit of copper slip on the front. Quick release. I also made sure the tyre was the right way round and that the logo in the hub was the correct way round with the back wheel. We're just adjusting the brakes now with a little adjuster to make sure that it pulls equally onto the rim and that the spacing is correct. Talk up those parts. Again, you know, I've seen, I mean, look at this mount here. Very, very loose. And you know, the wheel, the, the brake could have just tipped to one side during the race from a, a hard pull, and then it would have been rubbing your rim. So it is important to even check the mounts on those. So now we know that the, the chain set is all correct. We know the headset is all correct. We know the saddle's correct. We now know the brakes are correct. We're now ready to get the bike back together and get the gear in spot on. As it was, this bike wasn't too bad actually, the gearing, it just needed a little tweak. I haven't oiled the chain at this stage, I like to adjust all the gears first. That way I don't get the grease all over the newly clean cassette, I let the customer do that. So now we just torque up all those little pinch bolts. Well, I always do that after we've checked everything. I had to just move the bottle cage there to torque up the front derailleur mount. Tweak them up as well. Fiddle with this cap to get it off. Talk up the pinch bolt on the cable there. A little oil. Use the Mint 365 lube on this one. It's a, a nice fine oil that really gets in the rollers of the chain, which is the part that you're supposed to be oiling if you're oiling the chain and not waxing it. And then we just give the derailleurs the, the pivot points of lubrication there. Finally, we've got a check sheet that we go through. We make sure we've done everything on it. We write little notes for you to see what we've done, if we've altered anything, and we tick down that, assign it to, proud to always proud to put the name to a service, and there we have a race day ready bike.